Hi everyone, it's Natalie here and welcome to my channel. Um, today I am going to be uh, doing a review of the Kipper deck by, um, or the Kipper Oracle cards by Alexandre Musrok um, and the art of Kipper reading, decoding powerful messages, which is also by uh, Alexandre Musrok. They're both by, uh, by Alexandre Musrok, um, who is actually from Reunion Island in the Indian Ocean. So it's a very small island that's off the coast of Madagascar between uh, Madagascar and Mauritius. Um, and it was originally French speaking. So uh, he says in his bio that he originally was given a deck of Lenormand cards and his work on Lenormand is amazing. Um, so I'm just gonna come out and say like really transparently. So although this is, um, this was a review that, that Schiffer asked me to do, um, I am also extremely biased um, in favor of this deck. Uh, if you haven't, if you haven't seen it already, I've been using it on um, Instagram all week this week, um, doing readings with it and just having a great time. Um, it has completely. I, I already appreciated um, uh, Mostrook's work, right? I, I had already you know, I don't know how many times I've thought, okay, I need to get his Lenormand book, and I definitely want to get a whole bunch of his decks. He's a crea prolific creator. Um, all of the links, of course, are going to be below here in um, the description box. Um, yeah, he his experience and work with, with the cards is something that has gone on for over 20 years, like 23 years, and it really shows. <clears throat> it really shows that he's a professional. Um, so let's start with the book. I've never learned Kipper. I know nothing about Kipper. Um, and I can't remember if I chose, if this was on the list of, of books and decks that I said to Schiffer I was interested in, or if this fell into the category of authors that they want to promote, or if it was a mixture of both, because I think there was quite, there was a fair bit of overlap, I think. Um, but either way, uh, they definitely want to support and promote uh, his work. <clears throat> As you can see, I have marked the book up um, with lots of tabs. Um, it's amazing. <clears throat> He's written a book that really, really reveals just how incredibly um, studied and practiced he is with Kipper. So if this is his book on Kipper, and he's worked with Kipper for a lot less time than he's worked with Lenormand, I cannot wait to read his Lenormand book. Um, it was not on my list from Schiffer. It's not a newer title. I know that this one is. Let me just double check when this one was. Um, yeah, this is, this is new. So this is a 2020 publication. And I think his Lenormand book was picked up by Schiffer back in 2018. So... Um, just for frame of reference. So he's uh, he's got an amazing compendium here. So yeah, he writes to, to my loving audience who encouraged me in writing this book, which is wonderful. Um, I have listed below, by the way, all of his, um, basically everything I know about him <laughs> because I've become such a geek um, on his work, uh, especially over the last week. I was already semi-geeking on it, but because I haven't been as interested in Lenormand lately, um, he, you know, my awareness of his work had kind of drifted to one side, and when I saw this deck come in, it was like, oh my gosh, I love this guy! He's amazing! So, that, that already kind of influenced my, my work, my opinion of his work, what I will say is that in the time since, just from working with and engaging with his book, I'm absolutely thrilled by it. Um, so just to give you a sense, you know, he offers, uh, I'll probably put some extra video here, but he basically offers, you know, we've got an introduction to the deck uh, and into um, his work with, with Tarot and Lynn Norman and Kipper <clears throat> playing cards. Um, there's a definite list here, you know, of, of, you know, all of the different cards in the deck um, and what you need to know about their categories. Then um, he gives you a sense of how to just pick up the deck and begin starting and then goes through the specific rules of how to work with and read Kipper. So you learn about all the different um, 
characters, you learn about all the different person cards, how those are read. Um, and of course, when, you know, with Kipper, it is directional. So there's the, the rules that concern the spread that you use. And then there are the rules that tell, you know, that change or shift or modify depending on the direction of the cards. Um, so it has that in common in many ways with, with a Marseille deck. Um, then you get to the meanings and the meanings are incredible. So for example, if you pick like the male card, right? That's the main male. You get, um, you get your basic, oops, you get your basic meaning here. Um, and then on the other side and for several pages, <clears throat> I think we'll have to cut away here for another little hippy dippy video. Uh, what you get is, is all of the information here about the future um, with each of the other cards. You get, if you're using a, um, so that would work directionally for future or past. Then if you're doing a five card spread or five card reading, the above and the below, you know, um, meanings are also listed for each one of these cards. Because it will be different in a five card spread um, or in a grand tableau than it would be, you know, in another circumstance. So all of the black marks here or markers here at the top are generally for like where <clears throat> um, where the main characters are and where I can find them. I may actually try and do a better job of that for quick reference. And then um, these are for, the, the brown ones are for the spreads. So that I know how to read the spreads or I can find the spreads or the information about the spreads while I was learning the rules. Um, you know, in the back, he's got um, the information about doing a basic three card spread. Um, doing a five card spread and how that functions, where the rules change and why. A nine card spread, similarly, like what are the rules, how do they change and why. And then of course, it's a similar, but not exactly like um, the, the Lenormand, there's also a grand tableau. Um, and again, you can see it's, it's pretty brief, but it's thorough and it's enough to really begin practicing. Then he's got the seven keys here to how to unlock the grand tableau. Um, it is so detailed and so specific and so apparently written by somebody who really, really knows how to do, you know, how to do this practice. Um, he does offer examples of, um, you know, how to, how, to, how to change up the readings, what different card, you know, so examples of specific card readings that he's done with different querents. Um, you know, case studies that are in there, which are listed along with the cards, which are extremely helpful. Um, you know, just being able to know something about how a person works with a particular system and what you can expect is tremendous. That's huge in terms of really understanding it and getting it under your belt. Um, he does also offer um, Len uh, Kipper correspondences with Lenormand. So, you know, there are quite a few, as you might imagine. The number of cards is the same. Um, I believe. Yes. Um, <laughs> I had to think about that for a second there. Um, yeah. And then there, he offers like, you know, here's how you can, um, memorize your Kipper cards so that you can begin to work with, with them a little bit faster. Here mistake, you know, there's mistakes to avoid. Um, you know, if you want to work with your, your Kipper cards in a much more spiritual fashion, which I think he does very much so, um, he offers then instructions for clearing your Kipper deck, setting your intentions through prayer, blessing your cards, and then using crystals and smudging. So it really is thorough. And then at the very back, and I won't get too close to the camera here because I've got stuff in here that I've written, although these are okay because these are the ones that I did publicly. Um, but, you know, there's like a little Kipper journal. So you can write the meanings of your cards down and then probably what I'll do is go back as each of these come to pass and just kind of make notes that tell me more about, you know, what did I miss or what some nuances that I could take from it and that sort of thing. Um, and this is just for, for daily spreads. I'm so geeked. So the book on its own is one that if you are someone who reads with Kipper, um, <clears throat> or wants to read with Kipper, say you've got a, a Kipper deck that you're working with, um, or that you someone gave you or whatever, and you're curious about working with it more, I 
I cannot rec recommend this highly enough. I mean, it really is, it's the kind of guidebook that, uh, it's the kind, it's, it's a, it's a reference as well as a guidebook. So this would be one where, you know, I, I can see myself working with this for a very long time and continuing to deepen my, my knowledge and my understanding and wisdom of, of what the system is and how it functions a lot over time, you know, just through, through the work with this book. Um, it's extremely comprehensive. It's very, very well written. And again, it, it's, you know, it is the kind of book that is written by a practitioner for other practitioners, but in such a way that's incredibly comprehensive. Another thing that's important to mention too, um, is tone. You know, when writers, when writers write about a specific system that they're really familiar with and that they really, um, resonate with, you know, to the point that they could be considered something of an expert or at least an expert enough to be asked to write a book um, or to feel compelled to write a book, frequently they will have a list of rules and regulations and ways of working with the particular system that they're teaching um, that sound kind of a firm and, and potentially even limiting, and he does not do that here at all. Um, if anything, he really has open space by setting the rules, making sure that they're clear, and helping you understand where those, you know, where the traps could be for someone who is accustomed to reading, especially with Lenormand or, or Tarot, um, and then helps you figure out where you then have some wiggle room, and kind of then even encourages it, you know, which is is again the sign of a really good, experienced teacher. They will tell you to trust your intuition, to trust your own way of looking at things, um, you know, and to trust the work that you do on 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 your own. So really cannot recommend this one highly enough. It's beautifully done. Um, it's very sturdy, as you can see, like just over the last week, obviously, I've been carrying it around a lot. I broke the back of it and I'm abusive of books. I am really somebody who I write all over the insides of them. Um, let's see, where's one of my examples of like scribbling and here we go. Oops. Oh, shoot. Case in point, right? Okay, so here's the good lady who came up earlier. So, I mean, I do things like underlining and I make little notes in the margins and stuff all over the inside of a book because frequently I kind of need to, to, keep, to keep the valuable information that comes from the book or from that system with it. So, yeah, they tend to be get filled with, like, scraps of paper and all... It's bad. It's really bad. Um, but that, that is how I... That's how I roll. It's a book. It's there to be. It's there to be worked with. The cards. So the cards themselves come in this beautiful, um, really beautiful little uh, magnetic box. Um, it's extremely sturdy. It's well made. You know, uh, standard standard red feather kind of thing. The card stock is. Come on out of there, baby. Here we go. The card stock is fantastic. So here's one of the title. There's Alexandre. Um, he's on a boat. Uh, he's a professional. This is what he does. Clearly. And it, and it really shows. And the backs of the cards. So again, I did a, a more detailed like walkthrough of the deck on um, Instagram. So you can see that. But yeah, the card stock is this beautiful... Um, very, it's very plastic. It feels plastic, but not so much laminated as just, um, I don't know how to describe it. it smells amazing. Oh, I would say it's very similar to, um, I can't find it. I, it's very similar to the spirit, um, shoot. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pull it out. Here it is. It's very similar to the Spirit Keeper's Tarot um, cardstock. Oh, weird. I didn't even notice how similar the backs. Ta -da. Uh, they've got something kind of rolling there together that's a eh, different color. A lot more red in these. But anyway, they're, they're very similar, um, as you can see, like thickness and weight. Um, and like texture is very similar. They're both kind of that matte texture. So, um, yeah, that's a good way to compare them. Um, <clears throat> and they're gold, they're gilded, clearly. They're gilded. They do bend a little bit as you shuffle them and work with them. 
um, but they also bend right back. So, you know, even as I've worked with them over the last week, and I mean, I shuffle them a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, especially because I wanted to get a sense of how they were going to wear, um, with a lot of use. And I'm going to say they're, they're probably going to wear really well. There's a tiny amount of chipping, you know, just the, the usual things that happen if you really, you know, work with the deck and, and riffle shuffling is your, is your thing. Um, they do riffle shuffle beautifully, really beautifully. Again, I showed that a lot in my, um, in my walkthrough. Here are some of the, the cards. So we have the thievery. So you can see there, um, well, they are very German and very white and very colonial, um, or imperial. And initially, I have to be honest, that kind of put me off. I thought, wow, I, I'm not even sure I can connect with this. And then realized, wait a second, the author is a person of color uh, living in a former French colony. And if he is able to find a way to connect with these cards and work with them successfully, get over it and see what you can do as well. Um, it's, it's an interesting, you know, it, it, it does put a fascinating spin um, you know, on the way that I see the cards and the way that I, you know, what I feel about them, how I, how I wanted to work with them. And so does the fact that, you know, the person I'm learning about them from, you know, is, is himself not white. So that actually kind of helped me get, get past my, my own sense of privilege to the point of being able to just look at the cards, just look and see what's there. You know, don't put on, don't put on politics. Don't, you know, just see what happens, follow the guidelines, you know, do what, do what he tells you and, and see what you get. Um, it is also incredibly like patriarchal, right? Another thing that I find kind of irritating, but again, you know, the, the way that I worked with it over the week was playful. Um, and I just, I mean, this is, there is something that's actually kind of is not taking itself too seriously in the cards and in the way that they're, they are, um, portrayed. There's almost a sense of humor that's very subtle. It doesn't make fun, but it, it also does not take itself too seriously. Um, it's not self-conscious and it, it, it works. It does work sad news, a meeting. Um, yeah. Grief and sorrow. Yeah. So it, it has been, um, it has been quite a journey, uh, to play with them and, um, and work with them and, and learn them. Uh, yeah, legal matters. They're pretty comprehensive. I mean, most situations that we're going to encounter they will, you know, these cards are going to come up with some kind of an analogy for it. It seems to like to speak in analogies. Um, I learned a lot. I learned a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot about its voice, about the way it communicates. Um, and yeah, it's, it's just been a, a really remarkable, um, remarkable journey. So I highly recommend them. I think, you know, the, the Kipper cards themselves are really nice. The, the, the quality, um, that Schiffer can offer to you, you know, I believe these are designed by, um, by Alexandre Musruk, but, but he has a dozens of decks. I mean, there are several, at least several other Kipper decks that he has available on his, um, website or on Etsy, uh, again, linked below. And then, you know, then there's, of course, also Schiffer's version. I'm going to guess probably that the quality, you know, the production quality and the ability for them to be sturdy and hold up is likely to be a little bit better. Um, you know, it'll be more bang for your buck purchasing it through, through Schiffer. Um, and then in total transparency and fairness, you know, if what you're wanting to do then is to support the author and the author's work directly, you know, purchasing, you can purchase other decks from him directly. You can also, um, you'll find on his website, I, even, I wrote all of it down. Um, he has a huge, as I said, a huge collection of Oracle decks with Kippers and Lenormans. And then he also does classes. 
and he's got a YouTube channel. So again, I, I, one of the first things I did was go through and get all of his information and prepare it so that I would have it um, for this. And just because I wanted to geek a little bit more on his work, because I really, I really admire him a lot. Um, so yeah, he, uh, he also has a charm casting kit that is now available on, um, on his Etsy site. And again, several courses. So, you know, if what you want to do then is, you know, if you're interested in his work and you don't necessarily want to um, purchase a deck, something you could also do is, is, uh, is take one of his classes. Yeah. So, um, again, I'm, I'm completely geeked. I'm completely converted over. <laughs> and I'm like... I, I would really never ever have expected this, so I just want to be really honest about that. I did not expect to be somebody who would be coming to you saying I, I'm now in love with Kipper and I will be continuing to learn and work with it and um, read with it and, and everything else. If anything, it's really stoked my, my passion and my interest. I definitely want now to get his Lenormand book. I really am curious about taking a lot of his classes. Um, I've got lots of them bookmarked. Um, yeah, he's he's uh, he's a remarkable practitioner. So again, I recommend. I definitely recommend you know Schiffer's versions of each of these, and I would say too, I recommend highly uh, the author and the author's work, for whatever that's worth. So that's it. Thank you very much, and I will see all of you again very soon. Take care.